Show me something that you spent way too much money on, but don't regret it at all because it's freaking sick. So today, finally we got some decent weather over here in Colorado, man. Got some decent weather, so we are going to install some parts. Um, I have to put my axes on. I have to check if my axes are the right ones. I gotta make sure one is for the left and one's for the right. So difference between difference that you can tell between the axles is on the passenger side it has two male ends. And on the driver's side, it has a male end that goes into the hub and has a female end that goes into the transmission. So, yeah, hopefully I got the right ones. But anyway, we're putting a PCI side scratch today. I'm just going to run this really quick down. There's a lot of videos how to do this on YouTube. So, I was going to tell you what it is. The PCI goes in the front of the car. So, if your PCI is in the front, then you want to go ahead and change that to the other side. Hopefully, I don't have to do any cutting, but we're going to find out. Um, you want to put, you want to, first of all, I want to make this lighter. Uh, there we go. All right, so when it comes to these mounts right here, these mounts, oh, you can't even see it. Sorry, I'm not used to using this dang zoom lens. When it comes to these mounts, guess how you do it? The bracket should sit on the bottom like this. Turn this around. It should sit like that. You have the bolt that goes in, right? And then you have this little, I don't know what this is, some kind of washer. So you put the washer on the outside, then the bolt and the bolt screw, it, the bracket has threads, so it threads in, right? And then you have these bolts, these nuts and bolts, well, nut, bolt, washer, right? And what that does is you put it right here. So it'll be a nut, a washer, and then I'll go through the hole, and then on this side it'll be a washer, and then, I'm sorry, bolt, washer on this end, bolt will go through the hole, then it'll be washer, and then the nut on this end. So that's how you put it on. Uh, when you first go into the car, you wanna mount this. I'm gonna use my jack so it can hold it up. So I'm gonna jack the car up. Well, I can turn this around now. I'm gonna jack the car up on all fours, and, oh, I hate this lighting. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna jack the car up on all fours, all four jack stands, so that way it's just level, it's just easier. I gotta do the axles anyway. So I'm gonna just mount, uh, lift it all up. I still gotta change the height on the driver's side. I changed it when I changed the tire, since I was already under there, but I have to change it. I gotta make it a little bit higher on the driver's side, then it'll be good. Um, but you put in all four jack stands. I just want it to be level. You might have to cut it, if I do, I'll show you guys how I did it. You do need a marker so you can label where you need to put the holes at. This does adjust like up and down. So it gives you some play, you know what I'm saying? Just in case. So yeah, I'm not trying to make this take too long. We better try to go ahead and get into this already. Uh, well, I got some good weather and it is 12.06. So hopefully I can change all this. At least I'm gonna put the side skirts on. I would like to put the axles on too, but we'll just see. Uh, how long this takes because usually you would think like hey I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put all these parts on today and then you run into some issues because car being cars especially a car that's over well I mean hopefully we don't let's just say let's just say hopefully God dang. hopefully we don't run into any issues that would be great and this will make this Press has to go a whole lot faster. You do have to drill until the car, and I'll show you guys where you're gonna do that at. Had to get a marker. 
So, we got the drill into the car. I'll show you guys what we do that at. I didn't watch like three videos, so I feel like I'm a professional by this point. So, let's go ahead, go outside, get this going. And I'm definitely gonna need the keys, and I'm definitely gonna need, oh, you're gonna need a drill, like I said. Let me get the keys and all that good stuff, and I'll see y'all when we get outside. Let's go ahead and do this. As y'all can see, I got the car lifted up on all jack stands. I did get the right um, axles. Y'all can, oh, shoot. I did get the right axles, so tires off except on this side so how I did on this side is I have it lift it up you will make sure that the actual um the brackets are faced upwards because I have them face down so flip them another way but so we got it we got the jack holding it so I already marked the uh, way to put the holes at so I'm actually gonna lower that back down I want to scratch it but we're gonna lower it back down and we're gonna drill. I'm not gonna record me drilling because nobody cares about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill it. I'm gonna install this one bracket. Hopefully, my um, hopefully the drill that I have, the drill bit, is big enough. So we'll just have to see. Let's go ahead and get this going. Cause I need to wash this car too. This car is filthy, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Look how filthy the car is. I haven't washed the car in weeks. Weeks. Look at that. How that rim is. Oh my gosh. Ah, let's get this going. See, I got all the brackets on all the way down. I was trying to, trying to test fit this. Oh shit. <laughs> Hopefully, I got it right. Drilling these holes, you gotta have patience because it takes some time. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. So far, so good. This is how the side skirt's looking. All the way down. That was not a good representation because this pillar is in the way. But, yeah. So I didn't mount, or I didn't um, lock down the ones that are on the brackets. I just wanted to make sure everything was lined up. Now I'm gonna take the side skirt out. I'll tighten all the bolts on the outside at least. Well, I'm gonna take it all off and then I'm about to put some Loctite on those bolts because we don't want that falling off. And then we're gonna bolt that real tight and then we're gonna bolt these on. Also with Loctite because we're not trying to lose any hardware. So let's go ahead and get this done. Then after I do that, we'll do the other side. I know I need to do the, I know I need to do these freaking, look at this bro, oh my gosh. Let me show y'all. Look at my axle bro. Look at my axle. <sighs> so sad. Gotta get my thing washed, boy. This other folks are wrong. Gotta wash the taggy, man. It's about dirty. I ain't washed this thing since. Well, for a minute. So. We getting her all cleaned up, man. Fancy. That baby needs some soap. What do I do to on my window? Man. Hopefully that come off. That did get off my car. Get off, doo doo. Thing. I got 
wet. <laughs> enough now but the water came through here I don't know if you can see hear that see the water on my uh, thing right there I know the ISO way up high but yeah this thing falls in my window oh falls in my lens too right. seeing that it's already night time I had to wash the car and everything I got the side skirts on it took longer than I thought I'm gonna show you guys in the morning. But um it's really tedious when you gotta use the drill. <sighs> I'm tired as hell. But you guys the drill it takes a long time. Uh, I didn't use the I didn't use the bolts that it came with. I used some very small bolts that it came with. I did use the washers. It's just the drill that I had was small. And if I was gonna use the bigger ones, it's gonna take too long to drill it to the, the fender or into the body. So I was like, no, forget that. And I used the smaller, smaller drill bit and I used the smaller uh, bolts in, and it works. But I will show you in the morning. I did put Loctite on it. I'm not sure if I explained that, but I put some Loctite on it. Put the bolts out, make sure they don't come out. Everything's all nice and good. Finally got the car washed, as y'all seen. So I'm about to go ahead and Probably did some more videos, but I'm gonna get off of this. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. The next, the next clip y'all gonna see is the car, and then that's gonna be a closeout. But I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick. Appreciate y'all. Uh, we did just hit AK. I'm trying to push out the rest of these videos because it keeps going up and down, but it's not going under AK. So I will tell you guys how to enter the giveaway really soon. Just keep watching, keep supporting the channel, and I got y'all. But that video is coming out really, really soon. Because, yeah, we just hit AK. But I'm probably like four videos behind to this one. So, yeah. Giveaway coming up. All right, I was able to go somewhere, a little secluded. There's a little video of the car, though. I'm going to assess so I can actually see the side skirts. I know I need a new Honda part. That was actually a fake Honda badge that I bought off eBay. Barely messed up. It's been like five years. So, hey, whatever. But here goes the car though with the side skirts. Yeah, let me know how it's looking. Oh, it's not too dark. That's how it looks though. The side skirts. Woo! Finally, that's gonna be a good picture right there. So I'm gonna get that picture for the thumbnail. Ooh, this car is so clean, man. It gives me a lot of headache, but it's clean. Look at them side skirts, boy. Sheesh. It's this new paint should be all right. Oh. Line the tune. She needs to tune as well. She definitely needs to tune. I'm gonna show y'all what it does. I'm also show y'all in this video. This one's been doing though. I'm sorry it warmed up. I'm loving this autofocus. I put it on auto, so I ain't gotta worry about that. I had some stuff. But look, when I plug in that vacuum line, this is what it starts doing now. That vacuum line has never been plugged in. Hold on. Look how much it's running. It's running so bad. Definitely need to retune. I rev it, it'll still like if it, it doesn't matter how much I rev it, it'll, it'll still do the same thing anyway. So, and that's because I guess it was tuned with that vacuum line unplugged, man. So, I mean, I need to get retuned anyway, so I want to retune it, but yeah, that's let me just turn this off right now. But that's what it does, man. So, <sighs> so 
sucks. Car life, man. Project car life. So anyway, we'll be, uh, we will be looking into that. <laughs> Woo! But it still gives me from A to B, so I ain't, oh, and also, my check engine light is on. Uh, my speed sensor went out, so, not speed sensor, but my, I have a check engine light for speed sensor. It's a brand new speed sensor in there. I have to like, uh, tie the cable, the, the wire together until the wire's coming off the harness. And yeah, I guess maybe it came loose or something. I got to recheck it, but I can't rev past like 6,500. So that's the thing now because I got that check engine light. So I guess like maybe like some kind of lip mode. I don't know. Maybe some kind of protection lip mode. I have no idea, y'all. But that's the thing of the integrator. So hopefully y'all enjoy that. I know I'm trying to give y'all some content, man. Still got to put the axles in. I don't have enough time to put the axles in this weekend. It, the side skirts took me longer than I thought it was going to take. I didn't think they were going to take that long, but they did. Uh, literally, it took me like four hours because you got to drill every freaking hole. So that's time consuming. So make sure you got to drill and two batteries because I went through one battery. So it took me two batteries unless you got one that's plugged in, but anyway, done with this vlog. Hope y'all enjoyed this, man. Like, share, subscribe. I gotta get my buddy back to work. I actually came over here because I have to do some legal stuff. And I was like, this is a perfect place. You know what I'm saying? Perfect little secluded area, I guess, kind of like parking lot. I can show y'all the, the car. Liking how it looks though. I'm loving how the, the side skirts look because I haven't had side skirts in this car in a minute. And I've always wanted the PCI side skirt, so I'm glad I got them. <sighs> One thing at a time, man. Project car. Oh, and my uh, my neighbor says she has a, a 300Z, and she's gonna bring it. Um, she's gonna. It's like in her storage or something. It's an older woman. Uh, she drives a, a Subaru right now. It's not tuned or not tuned, but it's not monitored or nothing. It's just stock. But. She was like, yeah, I have a uh, a 300Z from my ex-boyfriend. I'll bring it over here one day. I was like, okay, cool. Because they always, like, right next to, they, we literally park next to each other in our parking spot, in our parking stall. So they always see me, like, her and her husband always sees me working on my car. Well, everybody sees me working on my car. <laughs> so she was like, she's going to bring it. So that's going to be coming to the channel because I'm going to ask her if I can film that when she brings it. Because I definitely want, that's going to be dope. Maybe she'll even take me for a ride in it. I don't know. But anyway, work is calling. So, I'm back out of here. Peace.